Thomas the tank engine puffed happily along his branch line with Annie and Clarabelle. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting on the platform. He looked at his watch. Well done, Thomas. You are right on time and really reliable. Thank you, sir, whistled Thomas. Ooh, right on time and really reliable, hummed the coaches. But the big engines were not feeling cheerful at all. Where's Percy, mumbled Henry. He's supposed to fetch our coaches. We get no rest, complained James. He edged angrily onto the turntable and spoke rudely to Henry. What's the matter, Henry? There's no rain today. Stop worrying and do some work instead. I'm not afraid of getting wet anymore, huffed Henry. Anyway, you look silly enough to be a clown. You should join the circus. Oh, whistled Percy. So you've heard the news? What news? About the circus. Percy, what are you talking about? The circus has arrived, explained Percy. I've been shunting special cars. Sir Topham Hatt needs your help, too. The engine soon forgot to be tired and cross. Until it was time for the circus to leave. Then Gordon and Henry were cross all over again when James got to pull the train away. A little later, Sir Topham Hatt returned. Come along, Henry. A tunnel is blocked down the line. You must take some workmen to investigate. <whistles> pushing cars, pushing cars, grumbled Henry. They stopped outside the tunnel. The workmen went inside. It was very dark and quiet, but not for long. Help! shouted the workmen, and they ran out. We started to dig at the block, but it grunted and moved, one said. Rubbish, said the foreman. It's not rubbish. It's big and alive. We're not going in there again. Right, said the foreman. I'll ride in the cars, and Henry shall push it out. Said Henry unhappily. He had been shut in the tunnel for being afraid of the rain, but this was worse. Something big and alive was inside. Peep, peep. I don't want to go in. Neither do I, said his driver, but we must clear the line. Oh dear, oh dear, puffed Henry. Then there was trouble. The block was indeed alive and very strong. It began to push the train backwards. Out of the tunnel came Henry, then the cars, and last of all, a large cross elephant. Well, I never, cried the foreman. The workman gave him some cake. He drank three buckets of water and was just about to drink another when Henry let off steam. <coughs> cried the elephant. Water went all over Henry. Poor Henry. The elephant and his keeper were soon reunited, but Henry was most upset. An elephant pushed me. An elephant hooshed me. That night, he told the other engines all about it. Gordon and James felt sorry for Henry, but still teased him. First the rain, then an elephant. Whatever will you be afraid of next? Never mind, Henry, murmured Thomas. I think you were brave today, and really reliable, too. <laughs>